we have to find out answer and many times certain questions are always there what is acid and what is base or what is acid and what is alkali actually one name is constant that is acid but another name is going to change base or alkali now meaning is same base and alkali is having same meaning but one word is having arabic origin that alkali is originated from arabic word alkali now that means ash and usually plant ash they are basic in nature therefore we are calling that as alkali so anyway acid and base the sanskrit terminology is very easy to understand in case of acid we are calling that as amla amla means what is sour in taste that is called as amla whereas base we are calling as amlari ari means enemy so enemy of acid that is called as amlari so terminology is quite easy in case of sanskrit but english terminology is not that much clear so we have to understand the concept acid and base from that angle we can classify substances into three part one is called as acidic substance one is called as basic substance and one is called as neutral substance but what is exactly acid usually we are classifying this way acids are having sour taste and bases are having bitter in taste so if you are testing out the substance and you will find that it is having sour taste that means it must be acid so just try to recollect even lemon juice is sour in taste then turmeric that is also sour in taste you can find out list out even our butter milk if kept for longer time then also it is giving very good sour taste so everywhere presence of acid is there answer is yes in case of lemon we have one acid as citric acid the another acid is present but it is not permanently present this is just temporarily present that is called as ascorbic acid ascorbic acid is volatile as well as it decomposes on oxidation and so it is not stable but still in case of lemon this ascorbic acid is present try to recollect two names first acid citric acid another is ascorbic acid major thing another minor minor things may be present but these two acids we are having uh, very good amount in case of lemon out of that ascorbic acid is name of c vitamin so chemical name of c vitamin is ascorbic acid then in case of citrus family citrus family means lemon like fruit like orange lemon like that we will find that c vitamin is also present and citric acid that is that's why that's why we are calling as citrus family so citric acid is present in case of butter milk lactic acid is present and like that variety of sour substance even if you are uh, having vinegar have you heard the name vinegar that is 4% or very dilute acetic acid solution so like that we are consuming in day to day life certain acids we are consuming then in our body also acids are there for example gastric juice gastric juice is present in stomach so that is having hcl hydrochloric acid present in our stomach don't drink out acid from external source hcl you should not drink that must be present only in stomach and that's why it is secreted by gastric juice and that's why Uh, if you are having trouble you may have heard the trouble of acidity that acidity is there that gastric juice is secreted unnecessarily if you are not consuming food for longer time or if you are having any tension or you are not able to sleep then gastric juice is produced in our stomach that is generating acidity so the reason is that it contains hydrochloric acid so this way we are having different acids in day to day life but how to define acid acid is a substance which can convert or which can change out the color of litmus solution from blue to red then we have to call that as acid then it can convert change the color of indicator that methyl orange indicator is there the color obviously as we are name suggesting methyl orange the color should be orange but the moment you are adding in acid the color of methyl orange turns to deep red in color in case of basic medium color of methyl orange is yellow in case of acidic medium 
color of methane orange is deep red. Uh, you may have heard about this type of magics. The local magician or that Baba Bangali etc. They are carrying out. They are just taking lemon. And they are saying, okay, there is ghost in this lemon. And they are showing you. Just they are cutting out with knife. You will find that drops of blood are coming from that knife. What is that actual experiment? We have to dip knife in methyl orange. Then just wipe off that extra methyl orange present. So knife appear to be colorless. You are aware lemon contains citric acid and ascorbic acid. If you are cutting out lemon with that knife, then color of methyl orange in acidic medium is deep red. So just cut out lemon. You will find that deep red color is coming out on knife. That is the color of methyl orange actually. So methyl orange is having red color in acidic medium whereas yellow color in basic medium. Same way turmeric. If you are adding out base on turmeric, then it will have red color. Water or acid, that will turn again to yellow. And so, the color change is important. The substances showing this type of color change by changing medium is called as indicator. So, on indicator, litmus blue to red, then methyl orange, orange to red, then turmeric red to yellow this type of colors are shown then that is called as acid but Arrhenius is the person who defined acid more correctly same way base bases are having bitter in taste then bases they are having somewhat soapy touch many bases they are having soapy touch then when red litmus is dipped that will turn to blue in case of base Phenolthalene indicator is having colorless nature. So in acid, phenolthalene is colorless. But in base, phenolthalene is giving pinkish color. Methyl orange is added, base will give yellow color. Turmeric is added, base will give red color. So these are the colors given by base. Acids are produced when non-metallic oxide dissolve in water. Whereas base is produced when metallic oxide dissolve in water. These are general characteristic of acids and bases. But how to define acid? That task was difficult. You are aware, whatever oil we are consuming, groundnut oil or any other edible oil, that oil is also considered as acid. No doubt, this is not strong acid. But still, whatever oil we are consuming, that is acidic in nature. Whereas, soap we are using, that is basic or alkaline in nature. And in order to define that, Arrhenius carried out simple definition. According to him, substance when dissolved in water, if it is giving H plus ion, then it is called as acid. So what is acid? Substance when dissolved in water, if it is giving or donating H plus ion, then that is called as an acid. So simple definition. On that definition, we can check out HCl is acidic or not. We have discussed that HCl when dissolved in water. You are aware now that HCl is having delta positive and delta negative charge. On dissolution in water, it will produce H plus plus Cl minus. As H plus ions are produced, it is acidic in nature. Same way, H2SO4. When we are dissolving in water, uh, you can write down this reaction simultaneously. It will follow two steps. Now you are aware of ionic equilibria. So I can give here reversibility sign. Everywhere I have to put actually reversible sign. So H2SO4, when dissolved in water, it will give me H plus plus HSO4 minus. This is first step of dissociation. In second step of dissociation, this HSO4 minus that will again dissociate because water molecule is present. We are adding this in water. So it will again dissociate and giving me SO4 2 minus. So I have to carry out this reaction net. So net I can say that H2SO4 plus HSO4 minus. How to carry out this reaction? I add out LHS in presence of water, add out RHS now. 
H plus plus H plus 2 H plus. HSO4 minus plus SO4 minus 2. Now HSO4 is on RHS and HSO4 on LHS. So remove it. So you are having net reaction as H2SO4 that is giving 2H plus plus SO4 2 minus. As two hydrogen ions are given by H2SO4, we are calling this as dibasic acid. Whereas here, in case of HCl, only one hydrogen is given, therefore we are calling this as monobasic acid. So this way, these substances are acidic in nature. So according to Arrhenius, substance is acidic when on dissolution in water, it should produce H plus ion. Same way, Arrhenius defined base. Accord, according to him, base is a substance when dissolved in water, produces hydroxyl ion. Hydroxyl means OH minus ion. Let us take example. Sodium. Uh, or say sodium hydroxide. When dissolved in water, it will give Na plus and OH minus. So I have to dissolve sodium hydroxide in water. It will give me Na plus and OH minus. So OH minus means hydroxyl ion. So if OH minus ions are donated, then that is called as base. Ammonia. Now ammonia is not having OH minus ion here. But ammonia, when dissolved in water, it will react with water itself. And it will give NH4 plus plus OH minus. So as it is giving OH minus, ammonia is basic in nature. So this way one can say the nature of acid and base with Arrhenius definition.